Ongoing negotiations between QP and the province. This was the intention of the union all along. I don't believe, you know, uh, there was any way um, for the uh, for the government um, uh, to get to the demands they have of nearly 50% in compensation, 33% increase in salary alone over three years. What we're trying to do is both secure fair wages for workers, but also ensure that we have the services that we know parents rely on in schools. In the latest round of negotiations, QP is asking the government for an approximate 11.7% raise. The government is offering about 1.25%. Education Minister Stephen Lecce says that the asks of QP are just not reasonable. What I know is that education workers in Ontario are paid the highest in Canada. What I know is that the average hourly wage is $27. I know that they're entitled to indexed pensions, which most Canadians do not have. I'm also aware that they have 11 paid sick days at 100% and 121 of short-term disability at 90%. But the opposition is demanding that the government step up and provide the required support to education workers. Yeah, but they simply can't afford to do this work anymore at the wage that they're being paid. The union representing these education workers is really trying to uh, raise uh, their wages. There will be a walkout strike this coming Friday, despite legislation that has been invoked by the Ford government and Education Minister Stephen Lecce seemed to have been uh, what the government was heading towards all along in terms of uh, putting forward uh, a legislative uh, contract on, on the backs of these workers, despite the fact that there's still three full days that they could be at the table negotiating. Um. Fred Hahn, the president of CUPE Ontario, says he's frustrated that it has come to this point once again in negotiations. We are not just going to sit idly by and allow you to trample yet again on our constitutionally protected rights, that we are going to do everything we can to stand up and to fight back and to defend our members, but also to defend our schools for the future for all of us.